work? Okay. Hi, I'm Ella, and I'm a junior at Lincoln High. You go! Looking in the mirror, searching my own eyes, I see a young girl. Chasing the butterflies in her yard, ignoring the scabs on her knees, I miss her innocence. But can I miss an innocence if I'm unsure I ever even had it? A six-year-old girl missing two, standing out and face burning from embarrassment. Being told she's growing up too fast and that she's going to give her parents trouble, but she couldn't pronounce the letter S yet. Seven years being threatened by hungry eyes, hunting down her body at the park. She's weak, but she didn't want to be left a Jane Doe. Eight years of memories encircling her naive mind, joined by her crush's voice, I'm sorry, you're so fat. She started to wear jackets a little more. She was nine years old, the sweaty hands of the boy down the street, dragging up her leg because fire trucks don't stop at red lights. She never liked the fire truck game. It didn't feel like a game, it never really was. Why am I surprised time and time again, I'm shown that I don't have control over my own body. Not in Sunday school. The house of God couldn't save me, not from the boy next to me trying to pull down my waistband. I was five. Where was my savior then? I've been begging for the torment to end on my hands and knees, tear stained face, mirroring the floor. I beg, I beg for a world where I am human, not an object being used for your pleasure. But my screams must be whispers because my prayers are left unanswered. I've let words starve me, looks shoot me, hands choke me. I was stabbed in the face by reality before I could even go outside alone. 